Oh, it's you two. I suppose that makes me the last one, then. We better get a move on, or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. Yet they still remain as silent as ever. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present, with darkness constituting the sixth and final Master Core. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's Maiden powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Or anything about having that power. Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? There are so many questions with too few answers. Particularly when it comes to that Red Woman and her abilities. Were it any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy, we also mustn't forget that while the other Master Cores disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the Fire Master Core remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the Blazing Sword as before? For now, at least. That Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the Fire Master Core, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. At least that's one thing we needn't concern ourselves over. You can say that again. We have more than enough to deal with as it is. Let's go. Hey, wait up! This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. Well, tell us what's on your mind, Ganya. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Where are your rations? Did you not get yours? I did. Are they not enough? No, I have enough. Then what's the problem? Uh... Alfin, you have to remember. These people aren't used to responding so quickly. Be slow and gentle with him. Oh, right. I forgot. So you have your rations, and it's enough food. But there's still something wrong with them. What is it exactly? I'm hungry. Yeah, I got that part. Do your rations taste bad? I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't eaten them, so I don't know how they taste. Wait, if you're not eating them, then what are you doing with them? Bringing them into the castle. What? Why? Wait, back up. Are others doing this? Who told you to bring your rations in? Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. They only said to bring the rations into the castle. I'm guessing none of us told them to do it or else we'd know, right? I was afraid that something like this might happen. The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills, but not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations from other people? If so, that's a serious problem. Definitely. This is something we can't ignore. We need to investigate the castle. Hey, remind me, just what exactly are we all doing here? What do you mean? We're helping people, aren't we? Could have fooled me. Lately, it feels like everything we're doing ends up half-baked. <laughs> we liberated the people of Pelegian, but their hearts and minds are no less under the yoke than the day we found them. As for Volron's cronies, we have no idea where they scampered off to. You think I don't already know all that? We're doing everything we can, aren't we? We didn't choose to get stuck here. Sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Besides, you've seen all the same things I have. You know as well as I do that deposing the Lords alone won't solve all the world's problems. Rinwell's right. We've gotten this far, haven't we? We can't just leave things unfinished now. I guess? I mean, I didn't think we'd be singing around the campfire as soon as the wall came down, but still. The fight isn't over just yet. At least not while Lenigus remains a threat. I'm just sick of all this waiting. 
If they're gonna invade, why don't they get a move on already? Stop that! Don't you think we've got enough problems as it is without you tempting fate? <laughs> Spot something? Hmm? Oh, no. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? You mean Voron's soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either. The city, too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danans. Without them, making Pelagian half-habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelagian are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. Ah, <sighs> great. Another headache to worry about. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. You do lose stamina if you don't get enough salt in your body. Yeah, I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Why would anybody do that? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. They used to say it was because of all the tears we slaves shed. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Magal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hearty about rock salt I like. Even more than table salt. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but when I find any, I always break some up to refill our supply. The flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Sometimes I end up collecting more than we need, just in case we like it. Wow, Kisara is really serious about her salt. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest. That's why we have to do our part and not add any more to her burden. I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only manage to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danans, too. Yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But... I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer. Long before you guys came along. For years and years and years. It was constant. Never stopped. Not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents, our children, our friends. They all died. They were murdered. And it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it! They killed us! 
Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die! Every last one of them! I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing! How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans, too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed, is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. <clears throat> What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed, that is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenigus aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans, or it'll all be for nothing. So what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do, though I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes, and yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Haros. I know that, but our hands are tied right now. 
What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Xion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just... don't be too hard on yourself, okay? <sighs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding, so we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the Resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way... Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. <laughs> uh, you're welcome? What? What's that noise? Helfin, this is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What's happening to Renna and Lenegus? It looks like Lenegus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. 
Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion! Uh, oblivion... Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Adelina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the Lords for the Renan Top Brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenigus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on. We don't have much time. Uh, that's your twelfth serving. Damn, that's gotta be a record. Even seeing it for myself, I can hardly believe it. Where is her body storing it all? Oh, have you guys already had enough? Did you not like what I fixed? No, it's just... We're just amazed at how much you can wolf down. Doesn't it hurt even a little? Aren't you feeling heartburn or something? Oh, this is nothing. You know what they say, you always have more room for dinner. I'm pretty sure that's what they say about dessert, actually. Plus, this is Noki we're talking about. That stuff just sits in your stomach. I swear, I'll never understand you Renans. <sighs> Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? 
No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? Dohalim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys! This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh... My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, 
But I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Denon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Denon techniques then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles too. It's incredible and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly! He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then.